This is John Black, Super Journalist. Uh, this is just a disclaimer just to let you know that uh, this video is not intended to be imitated, uh, no parts of it. Uh, it should not be copied or done by you or anybody. It's just for educational and maybe entertainment purposes to watch. That's it. I don't condone anyone repeating anything in the video. Right, we're going to see how much nitric acid we have. It's fuming. So put in three, four hundred milliliters of water. You see, comes two liters. Designing this cell for somebody. We go. I already got it set up for distillation or uh, reflux. See, I had the heat on it. And you got this. Yeah, it's not even up to boiling yet. I don't let it boil. I got 300 milliliter or millimeter uh, gram condenser. That's the coil inside it. Yeah, I got a 400 milliliter millimeter reflux condenser right there. The elbows off. And it goes to there. Where it comes down to this thing of water. Then I got water pumping that in there. And I'm gonna cover all that up with aluminum foil like this. Keep the heat away from my condenser. Um, you can see it's not, it's not like when you make nitric acid, but all that NO gas, nitrogen oxide gases, they're staying in there. Hopefully they won't go. But one thing I hate about this condenser right here is that it gets clogged up 
because the little tube inside the coil that's where your fumes go from the pot and when they condense sometimes they get stuck in there and builds up pressure and bumps in there. but what I like about this is that same exact thing because it builds up little uh, puddles in there and blocks the thing it blocks gases from coming out like nasty gases like nitrogen oxides so there it is Get back. Now I'm going to reflux this for 55 hours. I don't have to do it consecutively, but you know, I could take breaks. But we'll see. Well, I finally got it boiling. I you can see in there. It's refluxing. See it's starting to go up to the well you can see it on camera. It's up to right 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 here, halfway up to that gram condenser. And keep in mind, I still got another condenser after that, see. So I'm gonna go up to the middle of this, like I said, maybe 150 millimeters. And if it starts getting past there, I turn my condenser back on. Get a nice boil. Get a nice boil. That's all I have to do. See if that boiling. I don't really have a fume hood on. So I'm at my buddy's house. I got him a fume hood last year. Actually, maybe it was the year before that. But uh, I don't even have it on now. That's just a condenser here right now. Here, I'll turn it on. See, there's nothing there. Down here, you can see a little bit of orange. Oh, actually, it's starting to get up into the middle here. Better turn this on. Still got the two layers. Like I said, that's silane is somewhat soluble in fluid nitric acid. So it'll react with what it has. And more will go into the solution. Alright, this is the next day. I only really refluxed it for two hours yesterday. But you can see what's that down at the bottom there? It's some kind of solid. I'm hoping that's my product. And you can see up on top, I don't know if you can see it, but there's stuff floating on top a little bit from surface tension. You can clearly see there's some kind of solids at the bottom. There were no solids before. As you can see, I just started to heat up a little bit, and I already got gas on here. Nitrogen oxide's up to here. It's only like 30, 40 degrees. The liquid is turning kind of green as soon as I turn the heat on. The bubbler's going good. You can see there's no red gas up on top here. So it's all reacting before it gets up there. But trust me, it'll, it'll start getting gas soon. It never seems to scrub this crap. It's been about 20 minutes. I finally got it refluxing. Get boiling there. It is definitely... It is definitely uh, making something. Whether it's stalic acid or toluic acid, I don't know. I got it refluxing up to about right here now. Yesterday, I, I, the two hours I did, I only had it refluxing up to about right here, right at the beginning. I was just making too much NO2 gas. And I only had water in this bubbler here, right? And I didn't have it covered up on the top. It was a big opening. 
and it was just ridiculous. I mean, I had turn. I haven't even turned the fume hood on yet. And that's been going for 20 minutes now. This is all clear instead of it being all red. I actually did cover it up with, the, with aluminum, and, and that really helped. But what really is helping today is this, I put sodium hydroxide in here. So instead of making nitric acid, I just figured it took so long to make the nitric acid, I could remake it, you know, because you're wasting a lot of this crap. You only need like three moles. I'm putting six. I mean, you only need so many moles, and I'm putting twice as much in, or six times as much or something like that, because most of it's wasted. Um, but you can see it's totally clear up on top. Um, and this is making maybe not a good ratio, but it is making nitrite, sodium nitrite, not nitrate. And uh, I do want some sodium nitrite. So I'm going to save this bottle of sodium hydroxide. And every time I do something where I make NO2 gas, I'm going to bubble it into it. And uh, then I'm going to test it. That's all. Basically, you know, it's a generic way. You're not doing it stoichiometry or whatever. Uh, because you actually need a mixture of NO2 and NO gases. I'm sure you're getting a mixture there. I don't know if it's the correct mixture. We'll see. Um, got this going. There is a lot of solid in there. You can't see it right now because it's all floated up on top. Let me tell you, there is a lot in there. I mean, not a lot, a lot, but there's more than I thought would be. Just, you know, for 55 hour reflux. And the green went away. So you can see it's super brown there. It's just getting up to about right here somewhere. I'd like to get it halfway up that gram condenser because I do have two condensers. I have that 400 mil millimeter up there. And then I have this gram condenser. It's 300. That's 700 total. So taking it up to 150 millimeter isn't bad. Now the, the directions on this is actually to put it in an oil bath, right? And then the oil, and then the oil bath, uh, you would uh, keep that uh, between 145 and 155 C. Uh, you don't worry about any other temperatures, just the oil itself, and you would reflux it at that that temperature. I do like how the two layers forms uh, because. <coughs> Kind of caps it. I think the tell you means on top, and uh, putting the cap on it like so a lot of the, you know, the nitric acid and NO2 can stay below there and react with a little bit of xylene that goes into the water solution. You know what I mean? <coughs> um, like I said today, I, I don't smell anything. I haven't even turned on my. Uh, you know, the ventilation system or anything for the fume hood. And uh, this is completely white above the water. There's no NO2 gas. If I stick my head inside the fume hood and I smell it, I faintly, faintly smell it. <clears throat> I want you to look at that because I'm going to change it. You can see how clear it is right here. There's no NO2 gas in there. Although there is starting to get NO2, that's why I'm changing it. Um, but watch when I take the rag off. Look at that. You see that? So there was NO2, NO gas in there, and as soon as I got oxygen to it, there was NO2. So there's NO gas getting to that. This is after seven and a half hours. You can see there's a lot of stuff floating on there. A lot of stuff at the bottom. Always remember, science is great.